If you have a Summit Street Strip carburetor uh, and you can't get it to idle right, this video is for you. I've spent the last uh, five or six months fighting this car and trying to get it to idle right and I finally figured it out uh, thanks to a forum post which I will show down below. But this um, car had a 600 on it that was installed by the previous owner. However, the motor itself, the crate motor was dynoed with a 750. So um, when this 600, which sat forever, uh, was all gunky and gross, um, I opted to get a brand new 750, which is where this box came from. However, after I installed it on the throttle, it would run fantastic. It would pull hard um, all the way through the power band. It was great but idling was awful. It smelled like gas. It was running so rich. I could not screw the idle mixture screws in far enough to get it to lean out. They were bottoming out and there's just nothing else I could. I advanced it as far as it would go. I tried to close the throttle blade and it would just die. Uh, it was just not a good look. So finally, I found this post, um, which I will link down below. Okay, these, uh, this I tore the 600 down to uh, rebuild, but, um, they're all constructed the same with this unibody design. So you just pull the top off, it's just these screws. And then if yours has electric choke, uh, you kind of got to fiddle with that a little bit to get it off. But regardless, um, you can see both bowls here, primary and secondary. And then the boosters just sit right underneath with one screw that goes through here. I already took it off, uh, like I said, because I broke this down. But if you pop these guys out underneath, right here on either side, um, are what they call them restrictor. Let me see. If you download the exploded view from Summit's website, you can see it's number 105 right here underneath the boosters. And it's labeled an idle feed restriction. And that's exactly what it is. Summit sells a kit, which I will also link down below, that's got four sizes of these restrictors. The 750 had the biggest one on it. And it just so happened that I already had this 600 and was able to pull the second smallest size out of it and put it in here. And now it is running crisp. It is awesome. It starts up instantly. It idles smooth. Uh, it's no longer bouncing around. Um, if you put a gauge on it and overall, um, I wish I had found this post a lot sooner, which is why I'm making this video, so that hopefully if this is happening to somebody else, um, you'll find this and know exactly what to change and not hunt around for 80 other issues like I've been doing for the past couple of months. So there you have it. So that's it. I just wanted to make this real quick so that, you know, as a resource in case anybody else is having this problem, hopefully I save you just a little bit of time because it's a pretty easy fix all in all. Um, I think I'm sitting at like a turn and a quarter now, which is primo. And yeah, and now I can drive the car and not have to worry about getting stranded somewhere because I fouled the plugs or uh, flooded the motor. So good luck and uh, hopefully this helps.